Hey guys, I figured I'd make a quick update video on my Rage Vortex Berserker that I've been playing for League Start. Uh, it's about 4 days into the league and I just finished getting my last 2 Void Stones from Maven and Uber Elder. I started out farming some currency doing Expedition and Heist and now I've been doing some Guardians and bossing with uh, a destructive play Maven Atlas. And uh, as a league starter I would say it's been pretty good. It's obviously not as good as the best meta builds, but for a melee build I would say it's been alright. It's a little squishy against the dangerous necropolis mobs being a berserker and all. But other than that it felt pretty good and I would say probably besides, besides Bone Shatter it's one of the best melee starters for this league. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over the character a bit and show some of the choices I made and some of the differences I ended up making from the league start video. Okay, so this is the character right now. I'm level 95 and uh, I haven't put too much currency into the build. I just bought this uh, Pride Watcher's Eye for 1.5 Divines and that's my most expensive item. Uh, I've crafted pretty much, yeah, I've crafted I think all this gear myself, at least all the rares and then I uh, bought some stuff, uh, the uniques and uh, yeah, basically I bought this base for like maybe 25 C, I think, 20 or 25, and just threw some essences on it. And it ended up being pretty good, I think it has 700 P DPS. And then a 6 link chest I just uh, bought for like 30k or so, 30 C or something. It's probably even lower now to just get, uh, you don't need an 86 base because you're not going to spend too much currency crafting it. I just uh, I crafted this one in uh, Harvest, I believe. Uh, with the fish mods. Uh, the fish uh, addition of fish damage reduction is nice, but it's not really needed. Getting spell suppress is the important part, so you can easily just essence craft this. All the gear is just uh, pretty much essence spam if you want to. Um, you want obviously resist, life, um, as much chaos rest as possible, and then as much suppression as possible. Uh, I'm not even spell suppress capped all the time. I'm using a uh, quartz flask for the last 9%. Um, so uh, yeah, get as much suppression as possible. Obviously for, for the late game you want to get fully spell suppressed. An easy way to do that late game is using the green nightmare over here. Um, you can also just take some more of these nodes, like I have one extra node. Uh, or you can just get better rolls eventually uh, on the gear. But yeah, the axe looks like this, about 700 p dps. The helm here, uh, the mana reservation makes the mana a bit smoother but you you can definitely uh, function without it um, preferably if I didn't have the implicit I would like two ring crafts but even then you manage because you have some mana leech somewhere I have it on this jewel right here which costs practically nothing um, but yeah you want one source of mana leech uh, as well uh, and uh, yeah one uh, reduction craft uh, total mana minus cost uh, is good and some reservation is nice if if you need it uh, you can also get it here on the master if uh, you feel like you're struggling on mana uh, then for the uniques i'm using uh, soul tether for overleach to help against the degen from right of ruin uh, and i got this uh, pride uh, corruption for just 10 c so there wasn't a lot on the market, but if you can find it, it doesn't cost anything. Um, well, practically nothing. Uh, you can get a determination as well, uh, but I didn't find uh, any of those on the market. So, But you can also just use a regular one. Uh, for boots, I'm using Dawn Strider. This would be really good to get a spell suppression uh, corruption here for the last... I think you can roll up to 9%, 6 to 9%, so that would be really good. For permanent spell suppression but i haven't found uh, any of those on the market yet uh, but the previous leagues they have been pretty cheap so uh, yeah and then i'm using the eternal struggle here which i wasn't in the league start uh league start pob which uh, i'm probably gonna link to the old pob or to the old video if there's someone who hasn't watched it and you want to see uh, like the leveling process and stuff like that uh, but for in this video i'm just gonna put the current uh, pob um, uh, but yeah, I'm using the eternal struggle here, so, and this is with, uh, the Searing Exarch being dominant, so I have 15% cull. Uh, 
and yeah it just has uh, some global defenses and attributes that we need just try to get a decent uh, implicit role as well i got evasion and fist damage which both are pretty good um but uh, and yeah and this was cheap as well it's like 15 c i believe uh, and then yeah that's pretty much it it's nice to have the cull here not only is it a stronger than 10 percent cull but it makes it so I don't need a cull gem anywhere in my sockets because the socket pressure is really high since we're using both Blade Storm and Rage Vortex. And same with Dawn Strider because it makes it so you can only use one Ancestor Totem. So you're, I'm just using Ancestral Protector and not uh, having to use both Ancestor Totems, which would be even harder for the socket pressure. Uh, but yeah, for the chest... I have Fortify here, uh, Fortify on hit. I also have the Fortify gem though. Um, so it's nice to be able to Fortify with the Rage Vortex too, because this is in the in the Blade Storm links. Uh, so it's a decent one, but I would preferably get the Termination or Effect here. And then you can also pick up these nodes on the tree. Um, it's nice for bossing to be able to get Fortify stacks with your Rage Vortex though. Uh, but in, for mapping, it's no problem to just have it on the blade storm with a gem. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the gear. The rings are nothing special. You want one mana craft at least. Uh, otherwise, just yeah, try to get as much chaos resist. Uh, cap your elemental resist, of course. You need one source of mana leech. I even actually have this on the ring as well, so I'm ready to replace this uh, jewel uh, if I find uh, something, uh, some good. A replacement for it eventually i would l pr probably like to get um uh, an ascendancy from uh, the juggernaut or something uh, with uh, the forbidden jewels so that's probably the one i will replace that or i might just get a better ring but yeah you don't need two sources of mana leech uh, one is enough but yeah i think that's all you need to know for the gear um i guess i could get a rage on hit to make that uh, a little smoother on uh, on the Searing Extra implicit here, but the for Eater of Worlds, Suppression is good. And uh, same with chest, I guess Aura Effect would be the best for Searing Exarch uh, implicit. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not min-maxed by any means. Uh, I pretty much just finished uh, getting my Watchstones just now. And um, yeah, you don't need to be min-maxed with this build to... to do the basic content but if you want to try ubers or something like that or tier 17s which i don't know tier 17s seem very hard i'm not sure this build can do it at least not reliably maybe maybe depending on the mods if you get really easy mods you could do it but um, yeah i'll probably try a little bit later but you would probably need something like a void forge build or something using rage vortex for that ultimate um what do you call it the pinnacle uber content um using this just fist based league starter version is might not be good enough but yeah that's all the gear now i'm gonna go over the gems a little bit okay so for the rage vortex links using rage vortex with rage brutality pulverize uh, melee fist damage and close combat you can get an awakened version of melee fist and brutality and uh, yeah then i'm using blade storm uh, with fortify rage close combat and maim um, maim gives more damage for the rage vortex and the rage helps sustain uh, keep the rage high uh, close combat makes it so we can leap slam around really fast uh, and fortify gives us fortify stacks and also it's just the blade storm is pretty good for just clearing as well but it's uh, yeah it is a you you are definitely using both rage vortex and the blade storm it's a, like a two button build i guess or more than that obviously but um two main skills i guess you would say so those are the main uh, main links and then i have a blood rage here as well and an intimidating cry for the play style by the way yeah you're just using uh, Blade Storm to generate rage and uh, help clear, and then you're always going to press Intimidating Cry before throwing Rage Vortex to make it deal double damage. Um, it also generates rage, so uh, as long as you have 
this uh, Warcry Master here. But uh, yeah, gonna continue with the gems here. Uh, using Pride, and let's see where I have Determination. Uh, here. Uh, so yeah, Pride, Determination, and Blood and Sand as the auras. Frost Blink as just a, an extra movement skill for when you need an instant movement skill. Leap Slam uh, here with faster attacks. And uh, then we have a Cast Moon Damage Taken setup with Molten Shell. This can be level 10 actually. Um, and then uh, right now I have it on Life Tap um, to make sure it goes off. I could, since I got this um, Mana Reservation on the Helm, I could probably even remove that and still have it reliably go off. But just to make sure if you're having mana issues, you want to have it on Life Tap. And then I have a Vulnerability here as well. I'll probably end up trying to get uh, a vulnerability ring uh, so I can have it more consistently. Right now, I just didn't want to have an extra button, so I just put it on Cast from Damage Taken. And it works pretty reliably as well. Um, then, yeah, of course, I'm just using a single Ancestral Totem with no extra links uh, since I have Mame in the Blade Storm and I have Kull on the neck. For my flasks, I'm using an instant life flask with corrupted blood uh, and bleed, bleed removal, uh, a jade flask with curse reduction, uh, a granite flask with armor, uh, a quicksilver flask with evasion, and a quartz flask uh, with shock effect. For pantheons, I'm using soul of the brine king and soul of garu khan. And uh, yeah, obviously you can switch around which has which role, but I, I, I like these. Um, suffixes for the flasks and uh, yeah i guess that's pretty much it for the gear and the gems for the tree is looking something like this uh, at level 95 um if you're lower level uh you can skip like this area if you're like what level in the like mid 80s or something i'm not gonna put uh, progression trees here uh you can check out the league start video for progressive leveling trees and some early progression trees. Uh, but yeah, I'm running a Resolute Technique. Um, before you have Uber Lab, you're using Unwavering Stance to be stun immune. Uh, I'm going back and forth with Iron Reflexes. Uh, it's, it's really good for uh, bossing, but for mapping, I prefer uh, just having access to my evasion. And then I'm using this Elemental Resistances Can't Be Lowered by Curses, since Right now, I don't have uh, overcapped resistances. So you're vulnerable to other sources of like minus resist, like Scorch, but uh, this is fine for uh, just uh, like Frostbite and Elemental Weakness and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you can check out the tree at your own pace if you want. But yeah, using Resolute Technique, you can use Unwavering Stance early on before you have uh, Right of Ruin, which makes you basically permanently Stunning, stun immune. And then, yeah, I'm using Warbringer, a bit of Carnage, and of course, Crave the Slaughter. Uh, yeah, check out the previous League Start video if you're wanting to level this build just to see uh, the leveling trees and some progression. This is what you're aiming for, I guess, uh, for this pretty basic version of a Rage Vortex Berserker build. For very late game stuff, you will want probably to go with Void Forge or something like that. But yeah, this has been a pretty solid league starter for me. I'll probably try to invest a little bit more into it and see if I can reach Pinnacle content. But I'm pretty happy with the results currently of just uh, yeah a pretty successful league starter to get some basic currency. Some I got all my Void Stones and uh, yeah, if not, I am ready to move on to another character, but uh, you can definitely continue to upgrade as well. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, see you in the next one.